muna nyato tati kawili luolo foki itaru kosa lombang foko kole alta kilonga tambila bang foka sube along purka hamulti mandi bang imetan tol jelala ko mul milialong ko imanta kese bola jabato nduwato wati mfanansa itandila ko tonyate okumoto njube bansai nkatile fo santo 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 nung hana tara mom futa tandula fang isalo mbesilo le kam gambia dinkendol gambia dinkendol min yalon ko parita le ka doko ke ka falinga ke mola satar nyala estilo mbrika maboyo di gambian dream kana dream sul bille with global property innovative property solution Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh mbok adna bi mbok dulti mbok adna bi fi fi way nek ya nga deglu ci sohaba sauda so message bi nak dam ko jalle ñi nga xamantene bi ñom ñoy genn produit ci sohaba sauda ñep xam nañu ci match profit lañuy fajé faj bu xamé amul morom ci adna bi moy numéro 1 da nga ci sosam non la dam fajé mom lañ lañ bu won tay sunu marque bi sunu logo bi fepp ko gis rek ci sohaba sauda logo bi nga xamne sunu boss la sun youtube bi mi ngi fi sun facebook ba ngi fi lepp luay bu nga xam dugal fofu nga tapé ci soko habatu sauda officiel da ngay sun produit da ngay sun garab bi langue bobu da ngay tapé tour langue bobu rek inshallah da ngay gis kon limo message bu gatt mo leni wax tay pour ñep nañ ko dégg ci soko habatu sauda ngi fi ak yeen ñep lañ fi nekkal amul lak bo xamné gën nañ ko ci ñep lañ fi nekkal amul xét amul diiné dum adam ñep lañ fi nekkal kon bi benen jëmono ñu wax leen assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh hello wonderful viewers and wonderful subscribers this is active tv again for another fast and a quick update mbadi ngulu mbalbe ten blam balbe jey la mbalbe bismillah la kota ke active tv pour kana ci baro bonda nan kota kam yalla ko kabo gambia banko kan andu abedendi gambia dimula mudialon ko ndesan wala kata victimolti bandi kam mol mi yalon ko scamal la midi e ka tambinim bandi kam la waranto website ko tamol ini ka video call ke abala fa warat abala fa warat abala fa warat i think we have to talk about this we need to sensitize our peoples to let them know how these things happen how everything starts and how it end nyandala nga diam ñum kuola pour na mol ñi karandi ñi kawandi ñi hakilol bulandi ñi mol mi yalon ko e ka scamming ki tan e ka mol ta ki scam e ke la kool damu ta ñaadile e kana mum bulu si falla la be ka damu ta ñaadile andum a be ka ba ñaadile bandi yolam yalon ko professional bandi yo lemedi muli alon ko be ko di ni wala bari bañi ni kan silo la silo mi yalon ko abala fa wara ta kende ke kende ke kende ke modo di amuta mi yalon ko he is a victim of these scammers he explain how everything starts you know and he also explain what we should do when we get into things like this He said you have to stay, stay calm. Block the person on WhatsApp or Facebook. Deactivate your Facebook account to avoid them getting access to your friends and families on Facebook because what they do is as soon as they, they get your friends or your face your Facebook uh, family list or friend list what they do is to send the videos to those loved ones your friends or your family members when those people get your video obviously they will send you the video as soon as you get the video then they will get back to you again telling you that we have started sending the video to loved ones families and friends they know exactly that your family and friends will not spread your video will not send your video viral to people around the world this is normally their first step 
to warn you. Then they will be asking you for money. If you don't send the money, they will now publish the video. The video will be going viral on Facebook, on Instagram, and all social media platforms. This is what they do. Fa nga na mol karandi ya long ni mol ka tama nyadi. Ke do di am da video record mi alon ko ta fa un victime ol ti ya ta fa un yeyun ko si fa ka ta fa nanale. Ako. Ni a kela. Calm down. Ka ton kula mi alon ka keta la keta. Stay calm. Ji bon ni ola mo ka kono. Facebook da me alon ko ina mari communicate a blog je. O WhatsApp da me alon ko ina communicate a blog je. Et la Facebook ou ya di activate. Car ni la Facebook ou buko di activate. Et la friend list ou jen ou la Facebook. Ni asun a si te a long ko. Ni na video baboul an dou fanan a record la baboul. E ka video a seni de la follow ye la video je. E be manya mou ne la video kono. Ya etan di la ko kodo ki na molye. Wara. E la video ni. E la Facebook friends ou mba ki de be. Ako ni akete la calm down. WhatsApp ina ba communicate kanda meng a block je immediately. Yeta Facebook ya block yela Facebook of anada ya deactivate pro. Akana access so tela Facebook friends also. Akana access so tela Facebook family member also. Karu ni eto ni konto sa ve Facebook. Because communication o kono. Jani ina mari bita video call. Alka kujama la kacha mi alon ko personal call ka kunye. Nde to mo nyin 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 nati, ede to mo nati nde fa nan to mo nyin 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 nati, e boda bangku juma lakang, boda nyin bangku kare kang, ede boda bangku juma lakang, ede boda nyin bangku kare kang. O ka tari, a e full information soto about you, ede la karola a long ko mi yalong ka bebe den dida. So e kamane ke kara facebook le yelo to nin konto mo nyin sa fe facebook, ni o sa fe facebook, den yela friend listo juve. One is very important for nang any moment ke friend the Facebook, alia la Facebook friend list oda alia close only for more mi alon ka name friend the Facebook wala sa la list o jeno. But ni ni moment ke friend amanya na kela Facebook list ya. Bari jama jama ka kenya mi for nang ni mo li ke add Facebook le ni add Facebook ya accept then conversation o ida mo da. Abala fa ora ta kenda ke kenda ke kenda ke very very sad. Abala fa ora ta, abala fa ora ta, abala fa ora ta. Gambians, a lot of Gambians victims now we are seeing. Manna jam puruka tol fo, bari abala fa ora ta kenda ke, abala fa ora ta. In video from, you know, man time o sota from baka puruka ke, because me holiday la, time o man tere mul, nale background o from jubal ba na ko man tere na normal studio kono. But it's important for us to be able to make a lot of money. If you don't have to be able to make a lot of money, you can't make a lot of money. But you can't make a lot of money. Because if you don't have to be able to make a lot of money, you can't make a lot of money. 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 Modo kwenye kwenye nika nyingi kenya adila ndele nyingi lakarano futa ndi daming Anu njema ajima kaka mole la miyalo nko iba palas bali oto gambia Nkaya ko ka palas ba muta aninka karang aninka faham Different thing lo wati kufula lo miyalo nko iba nke kilit Itabe siri la ulo kono Ibe la binde o kekang Ibe la tiyo fikang Londo mbete bulu ani modo be siri ofisi o kono Minister mati bang, paman sekretari mati bang, direktor mati bang. Ide London muncul, de faham rumah muncul, dunia taman diri nyato. Wamari muncul. So it's it's very 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 different. Amang aku tu mian lom kui munia ta fang iman yo ma fenna. Ka faham ane ka karang iman ke kilen. Do karang taman faham, bar modo faham taman karang fang. So walak nabo kumala ba ke ngalong be dunia taman diri nyameng. Bar kau mengapa nyameng fang? Ala kiri ona nata. Amuka bay no ning ala ko jong ko ko nde mbe safe le kundo amuka bay so wala na kanyo sensitize akuma da kenda ke kenda ke kenda ke mba holi de la man tay mo soto bari nko nying nying kuma da ba kel purunga na ngayim video ta nga record pur gambe no liya long nying mool ka tama nya di le na holi de video ma bondi no jang on active tv youtube ban ni mool ta da na instagram o do al nyabe nying mool na tayeng wala mo na instagram o di ACCTIVE 
dot tv active tv nalta da instagram albenna natalol ci la jele holiday ñu mbetama ka ñaaming di active 2022 holiday alba jelale den alem follow fana on instagram acctive.tv be video nat la jele be natalo nat la je but facebook jang holiday video ñu mandar na kan jang on youtube alal hako boy ni yeah so wala bi je ale nga ñing kew la moy mi yalla ko ñing quota a explain scammer li ka tama ñaadile di ko cool explain ñaadile ka ne ñaadile ike tete ñaadile ke bon di facebook ke samba bandi kam wanto ye bon di whatsapp ye samba bandi kam pour les vidéos ta ya record akona keta la alsi alia tenkon alia mari block weda whatsapp or facebook ale communication o damu ta damen ale ta la facebook o ta alia di activate ka facebook o di activate anin ka block wal manke killer but alsa di activate no den ni ngi ko be banda ale na alia 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 activate kota ka but ndeba advice ta muna na keta muna facebook o nyin a block kana di activate kana activate kota ka because video ñu mbataré bulé isa use no against you even in the next 10 years so wala fa ma sibo fa bo wara because as kene mari mom futu say next 10 years eta e futu ina video ñin ta ya jandi kota ke so ini muso mom futu da o metla pass long wo ina woje wo ina aje ko a ya rabande ni kew mom futu da o mutulu nat a bala fa wara tambe duwa alma ale gammeno be tanka ñu ko si fa la ala mari alma ale gambia tanka kata la ni kata tol Abala Fawar, Abala Fawar, Abala Fawar. This is Active TV update. The first step of what to do if you're being sexually exploited via Facebook with sexually explicit images. You need to deactivate your Facebook and you need to hang up the phone call uh, with the person who is talking to you. And block him. That's going to be a scary process and sometimes it might take a little bit to make it that all happen. Uh, I know in my case, when that happened, I couldn't immediately deactivate the account because I had some things attached to it that prevented uh, me from actually deactivating it. Uh, but if you can, right off the bat, what you need to do, if this is happening currently, deactivate your Facebook. Uh, it doesn't need to be deleted. Uh, you can just deactivate it. But that's step one. Step two is hang up the phone. Uh, now I'll, I'll go into some more detail with that. So the reason, the only reason that he has power is because he has contact with you. Uh, he wants money. The people that are doing this, they just want money. They're not, well, okay, they're, they're malicious, but they're not going to send the the pictures to anybody if they think that they can get money out of you sending money will not stop the blackmail if you send money they will ask you for money again and the cycle will continue you will not it, it won't end until you're able to just cut the ties um, which is why i recommend just you know the consequences are going to happen regardless. The best thing you can do to prevent or mitigate those consequences is to deactivate your Facebook and hang up and block the caller. Uh, just make sure they can, you know, block any means of, of communication they have to get in contact with you. And, you know, you, that's, that's the best you can do. All right. Now that I, we have that out of the way, hopefully, I've given you some information to work with uh, that you can use more immediately if that's something that you need right now. Um, but yeah, let me go into a little bit more about what happened to me and what my strategy was to get, get out of this mess. Uh, basically, I was on a website to talk to some people uh, to send you know fun messages back and forth completely consensual, completely legal, above water. Um, we moved to WhatsApp, which was my bad, my mistake. Uh, so 
it was because I gave them my WhatsApp. They figured out my name. They were able to search uh, my name on Facebook, and they they found you know my friends list, and then they were able to threaten to send uh, some sensitive images that I had sent over to uh, you know friends and family. Your first responses, you know, your first response here is is going to be fear. They're going to send a lot of images, give you like a countdown, say so they're going to start sending them immediately. Um, my first uh, response was to you know to pick up the phone. Uh, he, he called and said, "Hey, like this is your situation." He wanted me to send him like a thousand dollars or something, um, and so immediately in my mind, I started thinking, "Okay, what can I do about this situation? Uh, what what options are at my disposal?" And you know, fortunately, I I kind of thought on my feet a little bit, and I I figured, okay, I can. I did like the mental math in my head, and I was like, "Wait a minute, okay, theoretically, if." friends and family were to see these images what's the worst that can happen they you know they're a little bit embarrassed for me but honestly like it, it's it's a little awkward but you know you're you're a victim like you're you're not doing anything wrong um what you're doing is what you thought to be consensual uh and above water um, you were with a partner that you assumed was just having fun with you, and obviously you were wrong. Um, worst case scenario, you make a post and say, look, this is the situation. <laughs> Sorry for any awkwardness. That said, uh, most most messages that are received from like random people on Facebook who are not your friend they're, it's going to go to like the spam folder or the like this not not directly into their inbox. So even if something is sent, there's a, a good chance they won't see it. Um, that said, if they do see it, then you know it's not a big deal. Frankly, it's not worth a thousand dollars to avoid that situation. At least for me, it was not. So. Um, I decided I was going to try to figure out the best way forward with this. The best way forward for me, I decided, was to um, try to stall as much as possible. So after I, I deactivated my Facebook, my thought process was, all right, the longer I draw this out for the scammer or for the, you know, for the, the guy that's doing this, the more likely it is that he's going to lose my friend list. Um, because if he navigates away from that page, theoretically, hopefully, maybe, uh, Facebook will will refresh and show that my profile is gone. And he won't have access to, to that list anymore. Um, so <laughs> this, well, this was happening to me pretty late at night. And so it was about like, well, it was like 11 or 12. I think it was like 11 p.m. When, when it started. Anyway, he sent me to like wellsfargo.com uh, and I put in, he told me to put in my information for like my uh, my bank account or my debit card or something and and then to send the, you know, to send the money that way to like, who knows where, like somewhere in Malaysia or something. Um, so here's here's my strategy though to to delay and to stall the situation was i i put in my information for my credit card but i didn't put in the correct uh security code of course he doesn't know that and so when i click send by the way make sure you don't put in you know your your accurate information once it sends it's not you can't get it back like you can't call your bank and say i was sexually exploited please give me my money, my money back that doesn't work. Um, so I, I made sure to make sure that all of my information was not accurate. I hit send and it didn't work. And so I showed him the screen. I was like, oh man, 
I don't know what's going on. Like, it's just, it's not working. Um, and so he sent me to another website uh, and I did that. And then um, I did basically did that process again on like four different sites that he sent me to, uh, none of which were working, you know, mysteriously. And so then I was like, all right, man, I'm going to, I'm going to call my bank and find out what's happening. So I hung up and he's like, fine, yeah, do that. And so I called my bank. That's when I asked my bank, like, hey, like, if I were to send money, would would I be able to get it back? And they said no. I was like, all right, just making sure I'm not going to do that then. So we hung up with the bank. I got back in contact with, with the scammer guy and, and said, like, yeah, like, I just don't know what's happening. And so he's like, all right. He wanted me to use an ATM machine to do like a direct transfer to his bank account somewhere. Um, now I, I could have technically like gone to Seven Eleven. Seven Eleven ATM machines are always open, but I was able to convince him that I lived like out in the middle of nowhere and that there's just no ATMs at my disposal. And so I, you know, I told him, "Hey, look, man, I can go to one in the morning." Uh, but it's nothing's open right now, so I'm gonna have to like call you back, and we'll do it first thing in the morning. So we, yeah. So I basically convinced him that you know I was gonna work with him later, uh, and he's fine. And again, you have to remember, like they, they want money. They want your thousand dollars, you know, plus however much they can get after, right? So if there's just no other options, he's going to work with you. And so you just have to be like, look, man, this is the only option. I can only go later. Or that's what I said, at least. It's like, I can only go later. Uh, there's nothing else I can do for you. So he's like, all right, that's fine. Uh, first thing tomorrow. So he like, he wanted to call me. He wanted to like call me to wake me up at like 8 a.m. or something. I'm like, look, man, nothing's going to be open. I'll call you back at like 10. <laughs> and so he's like, okay, fine. Uh... So we, yeah, so the next morning, obviously, I wasn't going to actually send any money to him. So the next morning, I wake up, uh, and then by that time, I just, I had hoped that enough time had passed. It had been like eight hours or so since I, you know, talked to him, and I blocked him. Um, by that time, my Facebook was deactivated. Uh, I changed, <laughs> oh yeah, I changed a lot of my uh my names on online like i i removed my last name from my google account i just straight up deleted my linkedin page because fuck linkedin right <laughs> i don't even know why i have that um made sure to just kind of basically just uh go through my online identity and make it more anonymous um because the fact is, he does have your name, probably, your first and last name. And if it's an uncommon name, it'll be more easy to find you. Uh, so, at least for now, for the next, like, I don't know, little while, I've decided, for me, I'm just going to keep my online presence pretty low-key. Um, it's been, like, about a month or so since this happened to me. And so I, you know, my, my Facebook has been deactivated since then. Um, but you know, it's, it's no big deal. Uh, and so far, nobody has texted me and said, what the heck? <laughs> like my family is, is, uh, totally unaware of the whole situation as far as I know. Um, and yeah, everything is fine. Basically. Uh, I think it's, it's not a big deal. Frankly, this is something that's going to be that's shamed, I think, more than it should be. Because at this point, sexting is kind of a part of life to one degree or another. At least in the United States, I'm assuming that probably over half of people have sent you know, a sensitive message to somebody before. At least in like the you know, ages 30 and below uh, range. And so... Uh, it's just it's something that's going to have to be just accepted it's a part of life now um and it i don't know it's that's just my opinion 
hopefully this has helped. Um, let me know if you have any questions, if there's anything that I can do to clarify or, or help you out with. I'll do my best to answer questions in the comments. Uh, thanks. Good luck.